what will perhaps be rated as second only in fierceness to the battle for the Alcazar has been the siege of Oviedo in northern Spain. Here for 13 amazing weeks, General Aranda held out against the attacks of the Asturias miners. And when at last General Franco's relieving column marches in, they hear a truly blood-curdling story from the few half-starved survivors of the original garrison. With homemade dynamite bombs, the miners rained destruction on every house which they thought might hold Aranda's men. With shortcut fuses, the death-dealing packets sizzled and whirled over the rooftops. As each wall fell, incredible hand-to-hand -hand encounters followed, in which half-naked men threw themselves forward, bombing, slashing, stabbing, firing. But still the defenders held their positions. They placed a machine gun nest in the tower of the cathedral, where for centuries pilgrims have kissed the silver casket said to contain two thorns from the crown of thorns. Such is the latest news of the war that is drenching Spain in blood. Meanwhile, in Italy, Mussolini is trying out a little device that may come in useful somewhere else. When guns and bombs have done their work, crowds of poison gas will sweep over. And then if there's anyone left, surely this is the best way of getting rid of them. Flame-throwing tanks come to man's aid. 